Let's see, next on the lineup for the schedule, Ubisoft, Ubisoft, Ubisoft. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That's definitely the first thing we'll discuss. Oh, gosh, boring. You know, it's every, for the past three releases of Assassin's Creed, I've told myself, I'm not gonna get it, I'm not gonna play it. And I've bought it and played it. Yep. So there's something, even though I hate that it's just a different skin, and sometimes it eats even, it even backpedals and it, it seems, it seems to go the opposite direction. It digresses. I really, I really still, I don't know. Sometimes I just get a kick out of just running around assassinating people. That's okay. <laughs> You're only human. We all have flaws. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I remember when we, a couple years ago, uh, Kevin and I were talking about um, like what we would like to see Assassin's Creed go. This was when Desmond was still alive. Spoilers. And Kevin spoilers. always mentioned <laughs> Kevin, oh, Kevin always spoilers. mentioned that <laughs> that um, a Victorian era, you know, in kind of uh, British setting would be would be awesome. Mm-hmm. And here it is, uh, but now it's like we're already it, you're, it's beating a dead horse. We're already sick. Of, I'm, we're already sick of it. I think what everyone looks forward to those. It was really nice to CGI trailers. You definitely, you definitely can't, you definitely can't uh, look down on their CGI trailers. <laughs> I just can't wait till they finally finish the Assassin's Creed series and see what that collector's edition <laughs> well, looks like. Well, how would you, you quote-unquote finish it? Like, oh man, we just dropped a nuke on Templar headquarters. <laughs> no more aliens. Or are you just going to retcon it? up? Oh, Assassins are Templars. It turns just out, like the first one. <laughs> it turns out that this is just like... There's three dimensions to this. You have one person inside an animus playing a person going inside another animus, and you're only in that second level. You're you're that you're that person that's in the middle. So we're talking to like an inception. Yeah. Wait, subject six. What was that him? And the um, the man stuck inside the animus in uh, Assassin's Creed Revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. your memories back. Not memories. Where back. Desmond meets him, yeah, and that's how he exits that limbo place. Yeah. This is like Inception. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Was there a CGI trailer for Syndicate? Yes. Yeah, okay. it's out already. I didn't watch it, or maybe I did. I just forgot. I saw a bits and pieces. <laughs> that's great. I watched the game gameplay trailer, which is boring. <laughs> I just <laughs> wanted the Assassin Kane. Where's the Assassin? Kane? I think the sap <laughs> like Unity looked beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And I really like the idea of the online changing the colors. Cool customization, but it was so chunky, and so clunky for me. The the gameplay it wasn't like it wasn't as intuitive as the other ones. The parkour and everything, I hated that aspect. That's why I didn't finish it. So, did you get a chance to play like the multiplayer? No, I didn't. No, okay. Isn't the whole game like multiplayer? Well, yeah. There's the co-op for the story and stuff, but. We just went through a single. Point. I just went through Lone Wolf in the first couple chapters or whatever, but yeah. um, and then seeing those glitches for that game. Like, yeah, the that glitches was pretty, pretty bad. Right out the box too. Yeah. It was horrible. <laughs> like <laughs> we're gonna put a what is it? A screamer right there. It showed me that glitch. glitch. <laughs> oh, okay. That glitch, that skeleton glitch, whatever it's called. Oh, uh, no, which one you're talking about? The no face. And the eyeballs are there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> what is this? Oh, <laughs> I, I, I like how Ubisoft trying to do the damage control now because now they're like, oh yeah, this game's delayed now. This game's delayed. They delayed. They delayed the division. We already know this is a PR stunt. They're not even doing anything about it. Like, <laughs> we'll just make them feel better. We're just gonna say, oh, we delayed this. Although I know, I did know, I do know that uh, shareholders are really angry during the release of Unity. So yeah. we, like, we definitely need to see more feed, more feedback like that. In order for developers yeah. to, to uh, publishers to get their shit together. Yeah, that's the only way to send a message is to mess with their pocketbook. So, but so yeah, I don't have any high hopes for the Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed. But you're still gonna get it. I might still end up with it. <laughs> yeah. The reason I got Unity, to be honest, was because uh, Target was having that buy so, two get one free. Oh yeah. And it it, it counted towards new games. I know. I saw. It that. had to be equal price though. So I got what did I get? Advanced Warfare, Dragon Age, Dragon Age, and then I and then well, and in, in your mind you're just assigning which one's the free one. They're all technically. <laughs> so it's like, I'll let Unity be the free one. 
Oh, you should have said Dragon Age. Everybody be impressed. I got Dragon Age for free. <laughs> I'm just telling you and the viewers right now, when Target does their annual sale like that, um, they always um, stamp the credit, the return value, uh, the moment you purchased it. So say that you get the two sixty dollars titles and you get another sixty dollars title for free, the refund value for each of those games will now be forty dollars each. Yeah. That, that way sense. you must return all three to get your full credit. Yeah. That makes sense, right? <laughs> However, because of the way their system works out, you can actually just return all of the titles you don't want for forty. That way you can just get two games for eighty. You don't actually need to force yourself to pay the full one twenty to get some game you don't want. Yeah. You actually could just get a title you want for forty. I I figured like if I ever you know, have to have surgery or something, I could finish Unity. <laughs> well, uh, or you'll just be like, please hold hold the morphine. <laughs> I I need to feel the pain for a moment. <laughs> I, be, I, I need to forget. <laughs> <laughs> I love you when you're doped up on painkillers. This is fun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I like That's killing people. <laughs> I'm an assassin in in Unity. It's the trippiest thing ever. It's like the developers were on drugs when they made that scene. <laughs> but, uh, oh, another thing about the Target deal too. Like, say that there's a say that it happens for that whole week mm -hmm. where they advertise it, and there's a title you want that's like a week that's gonna be released a week later. And you're yeah. like, damn, I always wanted that. They actually do do one to one exchanges. So if you just get any $60 title you want. I'm gonna have to exploit that. Crap. Yeah, and then just be like, can I just have this exchange? And then you'll get it for that $40 value. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> just don't open it. Yeah, just make sure you don't open the, Don't open it. You can just get a get a filler. Like, uh, what, what game did you supposedly purchase? Drive Club! Oh, fuck you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just picked, uh, we're yeah. still waiting for that PlayStation Plus version. Rivals was better. <laughs> well, he just picked up the Drive Club as a, as a filler. He's like, alright, I'll get these two games and Drive Club. But then the next week, when uh, I think it was Dragon Age that came out, yeah. <laughs> he just went back and said, uh, can I have the, just have this Drive Club exchange? And then he just got in provision <laughs> for that for that $40 nice. markdown. Nice. Yep, just in case, man. The new, once Target does it again, you know that it's pretty much game. I don't want for 40 What's the next on the... Ubisoft. Yeah, we'll yeah. see here. The division. Oh, yeah, the division <laughs> delayed. All That's my most anticipated game from them. Most anticipated in what way? Is it, look, is it because it looks uh, familiar, like the um, Last of Us multiplayer? Yeah, it's no, like an no. open world Last of Us multiplayer. I have a, I have a very very bad feeling it's not going to play like like they showed us. Or like the trailer, pretty much. Yeah, you probably won't be able to close the door. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my door. number one oh. fear. That's the most thing they have to keep, like, like the most important thing. The game's getting too hyped up. It's gonna be a disappointment when it comes out. It's, it's gonna, gonna be like one of those watchdogs. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. The, oh. the graphics were like super great, but like so was the watchdogs trailer. So it's just like, <laughs> yeah, and then you don't down. get what you want. Incoming what? downgrade, yeah. right? The game has oh, so many glitches. There's literally a glitch I watched where you can hear the sound of a horn going off. When you go to the start menu, we get out, and he's doing a call, but the other guy had none of that sound whatsoever. So <laughs> he was, he's just constantly hearing the blaring <laughs> sound of a horn, just on the, <laughs> just on the horn the whole time. <laughs> oh god! Like personally, to me, I think Watch Dogs is just a bit unpolished. Mm -hmm. Like besides the besides the whole besides the whole. Um, Controversy behind it now, especially when um after one of the one of the um community members went through the PC files and found like the intended um like PC visuals like they showed in the very three trailers like they were all built in there but they've been like um, deliberately disabled in order to match consoles like I I don't know when this catering is gonna end for consoles because I do recall when Ubisoft was ahead of their time when it came to graphical fidelity. Like, they were not afraid to show things off. But now it's come, now it's come to this point where, man, we gotta keep things even paced. Something, something along the lines like that. Not to mention it was, it wasn't as optimized as it could have been for a game. Like, even high-end hot hardware was struggling. Like, and was getting, like, pulling frame rates to, like, mid-end. 
hardware, mm -hmm. if there's no sense. Like, they managed to patch it a bit, but on, on release, that was just absolutely ridiculous. And it played out like Assassin's Creed as well. That's what I didn't think about. <laughs> Seems like it was running on the same engine. Yeah. Like. It was like, uh, the, the, what, the satellites? Those were just um, eagle points, eagle viewpoints, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah so, pretty much. Basically, the division seems a little, does it seem more attainable than, than Watch Dogs? I think it does. I think the concept's more attainable than Watch Dogs. Because they had a, my, my first impression of Watch Dogs was it was going to be this global, seamless co-op game. That's sort of how they, they, they sold it to us. Yeah. And then when it came out, it was packaged completely differently. That's what I'm afraid they'll do with the division. Is that here we're seeing these really cool? What, what, what's the term they use? It was it was sort of like clan battles, right? You have your your personal team, uh, you your friends get on, um, and it, it just and the whole open world concept. But like to conceptualize that, we've seen where there has to be some limitation. There has to, just because when they port it over to console, they they're restricted, it, like you said with the watchdog. So I'm I'm just afraid. It's just not going to be as good. I remember they were just, they were showing off the engine um, with the lighting. You guys remember that that video with the bullet holes coming through, yeah, the, through yeah. the car yeah. door or like yeah that that was amazing. But yeah, I was like, this is all this is too gimmicky. There's something about this, so I'm kind of cautious. But I know I I'll probably get that. And the reason I'm so quick to hop on these new releases is because there just isn't a lot of them on any of the consoles. Yeah, yes. So I'm just waiting. I'm just like crap. I'll. Get throw me like give me an inch and I'll go a mile basically. You know? Now that's the thing about the new uh, trend for triple A is that with longer development cycles, you're looking at less and less titles available for purchase. That's why people are actually leaning towards indies as well. Yeah, like indies, I believe, are just a bit overhyped. I feel like they just look at them simply because um, they're just variety at that point. Yeah. Like definitely, when it comes to indies, you can expect to play different games. Although. I do see a lot more platformers than the norm. Yeah, indies indies are basically a cushion to justify buying a platform, in my opinion, in the early stage anyway. Because in in if it wasn't for my my side of fanboys or whatever, there's no way in hell I would have bought a platformer until midway through its development cycle, like at least two years. Because what are, what have we been seeing? We've been seeing a lot more disappointment than than perks, I think, but that that's beside the point. And that's why, and you and Ubisoft is usually the harbinger of our disappointment, <laughs> yeah. right? It's EA and Ubisoft are the ones that are always, you know, pissing people off. So just leading the charge. Yeah. <laughs> so when we talk about um, the division, I really hope they they deliver on it. If nothing else, you know, yeah. everything else sucks. At least, at least, um, at least live up to the hype. Yeah. So I just hope they keep like the little physics in the game. Like, um, one of the few things I, I always like about Grand Theft Auto is just their attention to detail. Mm -hmm. I don't think about it, like, they already have the whole closing door thing going on. For, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now. Um, yeah. You can see, like, individual, like, little objects being thrown about. Um, and then, not to mention, like, let's look at Rockstar's uh, LA Noir. Like, those are, like, the best walking down stairs yeah. animations in any game. Period. Yeah. There's no clipping whatsoever. Like I go up and down those stairs all fucking day. <laughs> like, it's just beautiful seeing yeah. that. So definitely, definitely hope the division does keep those little bits. Um, but of course, I want them to focus more mainly on the gameplay. Yeah. Um, Hoping it doesn't turn like Destiny. Yeah, definitely not like Destiny. <laughs> Although I see more on Q P focus, so um, probably not. Too much in that case. I mean, otherwise it's gonna be really one-sided when it comes to actually like bringing your stuff like a festival. Yeah. Um, definitely like how they keep it a little bit more on a smaller scale uh, compared to like Planet Side Two. <laughs> like Planet Side Two, I know is they like the, like their ambition, but the execution, yeah, could they use some work. I'll definitely wait for three in that case. So there's that, and uh, let's see here we got Rainbow Six Siege. Do you think they're gonna show us some, show some more? I think Most they're likely. Really? I think they're kind of done with it. With I mean, showing I mean, stuff at least. I think now they're just trying to put the finishing. Well, at least on it. probably a trailer or something. I don't, know. I don't think they can give up on it just yet. I mean, they're always bound to show us more of cringe-worthy um, multiplayer voice chat. 
<laughs> oh god. Cause you know that's how I talk to my teammates a lot. What breaching, the fuck breaching. are you doing on this team, dude? Yeah. Uh, He's at the window! <laughs> <laughs> like, I want point breaching. <laughs> what, was that, what was that one guy with like the nasally voice in the, in the six trailer? I'm breaching, guys. <laughs> Alright, got the C4 in. Alright. Are you in point? Are you in position? <laughs> like, it was so, it was hor so horribly scripted that you're like, not even seals talk like this when they're going in a place. <laughs> they're like, you know what to do? Yeah, I know what to do. We're good. They kind of did that also in the, the Division game. Play, yeah, right? yeah, 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 that, that was gosh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh was so Especially there was... I know, I but I mean, anytime, <laughs> anytime you get a bunch of nerds and, you know, and conglomerate them, then yeah, you're going to have that. But you know, that's how MLG players go at it. It's hardcore series. It's, are you breaching yet? Come on, boss. <laughs> yeah, that's not the teamwork there. I hear it all the time to see this go, right? <laughs> yep. but yeah, it comes out in October, so they're definitely going to show something. Yeah, I don't know. I've never followed Rainbow Six, so it's kind of dumb. I think what makes it appealing is like it's really close quarters. Close quarters, yeah. It's like, yeah. I played a little bit of Vegas. That was, oh, that was so one. much fun. That, yeah, I remember that being pretty, pretty entertaining. That was like one of the early titles last gen. So, I remember playing that. Online was so different than the single player. Yeah. You, you don't take cover online. You just gun in the shoot. <laughs> <laughs> really, the opposite of what the single player taught me. <laughs> Can you some memories here, Brad? For what? For Vegas? Uh, <laughs> I, I played just a little bit of it. I <laughs> I don't have really much to say about it. <laughs> like, I'd be willing to talk more about uh, Siege if they ever, like, sent me into the closed alpha. <laughs> <laughs> that, that all went down the gutter for that. Looking at you, Ubisoft. <laughs> Ubisoft, man. Okay, do you think they might show up another Splinter Cell? Mm, how did the last ones do? I didn't play Blacklist. Yeah. I actually played through Blacklist. I know people are like complaining about the whole man this casualized like nonsense mm -hmm. going on. Well, that depends that you're that you're playing on. Uh, what are difficulty you're playing on? I mean, you play on the hardest difficulty. You felt like regular difficulty on the early. Oh, ones. okay. Like, free, free conviction. Okay. All right. Conviction was garbage. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay that one out. Double agent was okay. Chaos Theory is still like the epitome of the Splinter Cell franchise. Uh, Blacklist, definitely definitely like that. Uh, definitely like the having a little bit more characters as well. Um, definitely played out like you, like you were in a B-movie, honestly. Stealthy <laughs> B-movie. It was like I was playing Mission Impossible. Actually. Yeah. Mission Impossible, the video game. Well, but, yeah, I definitely actually like enjoyed Blacklist. I did, I did stealth, I didn't go out. So, definitely... Definitely got got what I wanted out of the franchise, mm -hmm. so to speak. Well, um, definitely looking forward if they actually do release another Splinter Cell or reveal another Splinter Cell. Um, maybe if they do focus more in line on the stealth and less um, plus a hundred points popping up on your screen. Mm -hmm. I definitely don't like that at all. We uh, can so. probably expect another because Rainbow Six and um, Splinter Cell are both based off of like Tom Clancy's things. So rest probably in something. Peace. Rest in peace. Uh, probably something based off another one of his books, possibly. Because that's how they tend to go toward it. I see. See, I think the last thing on, on the list here is uh, they have rumors of a new IP. I don't know if you heard about that. I have not. They have like some assets going on here about something called a uh, hero, quote unquote. It looked. Um, from the screenshots that we looked at, it looked like an indie title, almost. Uh, it could be just like a, what was that one, World War One title? You know which one I'm talking about, right? Oh, uh, that one here? Yeah. Um, was it a side scroller? Yeah, kind of. You mean Valiant Hearts? Oh, um, there we go. Yeah, it might be Valiant like, Hearts. Yeah, yeah. It like, it's all with the dog, right? And the yeah. Pool. Yeah. It was like a desaturated art style. Yeah, uh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun game. <laughs> that was sad though. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it could be an approach like that. As you mentioned. Oh, could there be more? Was it, UB, was it Ubisoft or was it EA with the dancing? It was EA on. 
Uh, I think all, they all have dancing. There's always a dancing. Always, <laughs> dance. <laughs> always a dancing. And, but they could also have like maybe another, uh, what is it, Rain Man? Or uh, what was that? What was that pink haired child of Eden? Or not child of Eden, like child, child of Light. Boy? Yeah. Some people are saying there might be a cycle or sequel. I thought your hair was red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was mad, it doesn't matter. But. Comment section's gonna be pissed at this. <laughs> <laughs> the hair is red. Like, rare. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. think actually, none of the viewers always do this. They'll pause the video and then they'll comment. You're wrong about this information, and then post, <laughs> okay. and then they continue. No, the video this is really important it because if, if character has red hair, it's Uzumaki origin. Fuck it. <laughs> 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 It'll be like a robot chicken sketch. <laughs> Dear Ash Spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Gyro Robo. 